start eating fish every day and see what will happen to your body. According to the Dietary Guidelines for Americans, adults should eat no less than 8 ounces of seafood every week. Fish provides you with many necessary nutrients, and it's a perfect source of omega-3 fatty acids. But how would your body react if you started to eat fish every day? You'll find out right after you hit the subscription button and ring the notification bell to move to the bright side of life. Parents often teach their kids that fish is good for their health. However, specialists don't recommend eating this product more than three or four times a week. Let's have a look at the benefits and drawbacks of eating fish every day. On the plus side, when you eat fish every day, your metabolism becomes better, the quality of your skin improves, and you sleep better and have better concentration. But wait, it gets even better! Fish is a source of good fat. When you choose red meat, opt for the leanest pieces. But with fish, the healthiest kinds are the fattiest. Fish like salmon, mackerel, tuna, trout, herring, and sardines are rich in omega-3 fatty acids. These are the acids that help your brain work and support the health of your heart. If you eat fish regularly, you'll be at a lower risk of a stroke or heart attack. Moreover, omega-3 fatty acids slow down the growth of plaques in your arteries and lower the levels of triglycerides, also known as bad fat. Fish keeps your heart healthy Fish is a perfect choice if you care about the health of your heart, and there are fewer cases of heart attacks among people who eat fish every day. This is all thanks to omega-3 fatty acids combining with other nutrients to protect you from heart diseases. Eating fish regularly seriously lowers the risk of abnormal heart rhythm as well. Fish is a great source of vitamins and nutrients. When you eat fish, you provide your body with vitamins B2 and D, magnesium, zinc, iron, calcium, phosphorus, and potassium. Fish helps reduce the risk of autoimmune disorders. The immune system of a person with an autoimmune disorder mistakenly attacks and destroys healthy body tissue. One of the most widespread kinds of this disorder is type 1 diabetes. It has been proved that people who eat fish, and consequently, the omega-3 acids it contains every day, don't suffer from type 1 diabetes as often as those who don't have fish in their diet. Fish helps fight depression Scientists don't know the reasons for this phenomenon yet, but people who eat fish every day suffer from depression much less than people who avoid this food. One reason for this could be that a healthy diet keeps you in a good mood. In addition, omega-3 fatty acids increases your levels of serotonin and dopamine, two of the most famous feel-good chemicals. Fish also has natural anti-inflammatory properties, making your blood flow better. Your brain starts to work more effectively as well, and your mood swings get smoothed out. Fish is a source of vitamin D. Why is this vitamin so important? It helps your body absorb different nutrients. If you have a lack of vitamin D, you may start to suffer from vitamin deficiency, even if you take vitamin supplements. Your body usually synthesizes vitamin D in the sun, but if it's winter or you spend a lot of time inside, fish is one of the few remaining sources of vitamin D. People who eat fish have sharper minds. The brain starts to function less effectively as you grow older, and the time you need to respond to a stimulus gets longer. On top of that, your short-term memory may start to let you down. That's a normal process called age-related cognitive decline, and in most cases, there's nothing to worry about. However, this condition can sometimes result in Alzheimer's. Interestingly, cognitive decline is slower in people who eat fish regularly. It also turns out that people whose diet includes a lot of fish have more gray matter in those areas of the brain responsible for emotions and memory. Gray matter is brain tissue which has neurons that store memories and process information. These benefits of eating fish every day sound amazing, don't they? But let's have a look at the drawbacks of such a diet. You know that omega-3 fatty acids are beneficial for your health, but too much omega-3 can have a blood thinning effect. That's not too dangerous if you're perfectly healthy, but people who take blood-thinning medications or are susceptible to bleeding can have serious problems. If you include a lot of fish liver or fish liver oil in your diet, you might have too much vitamin A accumulated in your body. 
This can lead to very unpleasant consequences. Diarrhea, nausea, headache, and skin irritation, for example. It's especially dangerous for children and pregnant women. In the worst cases, people who consume too much vitamin A can suffer from bone thinning and liver damage. Happily, you're unlikely to have such complications from eating fish. They are typically caused by an overenthusiastic use of vitamin A supplements. The most dangerous thing about eating fish every day is mercury poisoning. Mercury, aka quicksilver, is a substance that occurs naturally in the environment. While small amounts of this substance won't harm you, too much mercury is extremely dangerous, especially for small children and unborn babies. Mercury poisoning can lead to neurological deficits in children and may cause delays in their development. Acute mercury poisoning can result in tremors, insomnia, weakness, headaches, and muscle atrophy. While adults can recover from the symptoms of mercury poisoning, children's disorders after the poisoning are usually permanent. Predatory fish generally contain more mercury than other types. First of all, they feed on small fish, which contain their own mercury. On top of that, big fish live longer and thus can accumulate higher amounts of this substance during their life. According to Eric Rim, professor of epidemiology and nutrition at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, if you're not a child or a pregnant woman, you can eat fish every day without any health complications. The only condition is that you don't eat fish high in mercury more often than twice a week. High mercury fish are king mackerel, albacore or white tuna, swordfish, tilefish, shark, marlin, ahi, and orange ruffy. Low mercury fish and other seafood, which you can enjoy every day, include salmon, canned light tuna, pollock, catfish, tilapia, trout, herring, sardines, oysters, and shrimps. Now you know all the pros and cons of eating fish every day and can draw your own conclusions, just like Paul Greenberg did. This American decided to experiment with his diet. After learning about the benefits of omega-3 fatty acids, he resolved to eat fish every day for a year and see how his health would change. Before starting this experiment, he visited different doctors and documented his medical parameters. He had somewhat elevated blood pressure, insomnia, and some issues with cholesterol. From time to time, he also suffered from depression. He hoped that a fish diet, along with the miraculous effects of omega-3 fatty acids, would help him resolve these problems. During the following year, the man had more than 700 meals that included fish and seafood. However, when he returned to his doctor a year later, he was shocked and disappointed to find out that his health hadn't changed a bit. The only difference was that his blood pressure became slightly higher, but this could have been the result of his increased salt intake. Moreover, he had rather high levels of mercury in his blood. On the other hand, the man stated that he felt wonderfully healthy. His relatives and friends also added that he looked better than before. How many times a week do you eat fish, and what is your favorite kind? Tell us about your preferences in the comments section below. Shrimp is my favorite. Remember to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and join us on the bright side of life by subscribing to the channel.